Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to learn how to use uh, Manifold Viewer or uh, Manifold Release 9 to take advantage of a really wonderful uh, U.S. program, a uh, U.S. government program called the NAIP uh, program. That's the National Agricultural Imagery Program, which uh, photographs pretty much the entire United States in uh, one meter resolution or a 60 centimeter resolution uh, in RGB and uh, infrared bands uh, every three years. It's a, it's a really a super program and uh, it's a wonderful source of uh, high resolution imagery. Uh, but to get to those images, it can be cumbersome using uh, uh, traditional tools. So we're going to learn how to use a Manifold Viewer to find exactly the uh, right file name and to uh, download directly from uh, Amazon cloud servers that provide uh, uh, the imagery files. Uh, we're going to use a free Manifold Viewer. And what we have here is uh, an installation of Manifold Viewer, a so-called portable installation that I've unzipped. And the way you un launch Viewer is you just simply double-click on Manifold.exe. There's Viewer. Let's move it into position in the video frame. And uh, we'll resize it a little bit so that it fits. Great, that's uh, that's just right. And uh, we're going to use the free NAIP file file name grid project that's published by Manifold. And here we see it in Windows Explorer. To uh, launch that in Viewer, we can choose File Open and open that up. Or we could just simply drag and drop the MXB file into Viewer. Uh, an MXB is a highly compressed. Uh, uh, storage format. It's an archival format, so it takes uh, Manifold Viewer a moment to uh, decompress it and open it. An actual map project is quicker, but uh, the MXB is is uh, a lot smaller, so uh, that's what's used sometimes for publishing larger projects. And here we are. To uh, learn how to work this project, we can double-click README, and these are full instructions. If you're not familiar with uh, how to work with Viewer, for example, how to navigate, and, and uh, advice on simple workflow, bulk workflow for downloading more than one file. And uh, the key thing that we're going to do here is there's also a section on downloads, how to use the uh, file names that you get. We're going to remember this uh, URL right here. Uh, which is the uh, URL to the uh, website that from which we're going to download files, and so we'll, we'll use that later on. For now, I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to close this comments pane, and I'm going to double click open the map. Double click a component to open it, and here's a map that has several layers. It has one, two, three, four layers. Two of them are turned off. There's a labels layer that's turned off, and the bank satellite la layer is turned on, off. You can turn layers off and on by double clicking the layer tab down here at the bottom, or here in the layers pane by uh, clicking this box like that to turn. So we just turned on Bing Satellite. I'll go back here to the project pane and I'll turn off the Bing Satellite layer by double clicking it. When you click a layer, a layer tab, that makes the layer active. And uh, we're going to be working with the quarter quads layer here. To navigate, you left with left mouse click, uh, drag to uh, pan. And to zoom box, you can zoom box by right click and dragging. It's the right mouse button, right click and drag into the zoom box and it'll zoom into that box. So that's a very fast way to uh, navigate. We can also, if you like, use a wheel mouse, if you have the wheel mouse, to scroll in or to scroll out. And uh, I'm going to zoom into right around here, which is uh, where Palo Alto, Silicon Valley, uh, Google's right about here by the Shoreline Amphitheater. And uh, we want to get uh, these files right here. If you want to see what the file names are on those, we can turn on the labels. And uh, for small uh, downloads, you can just see right away what the, what the file name stem is for the... Uh, NAIP file name, and those are right here that is generated by the labels. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we would do this if we were, wanted to download you know, a whole bunch. And uh, what I will do is I will select some of these by control clicking the tiles. So control click that one. Oops, I want to click here on the quarter quads layer, layer to make it the active layer. Control click here, control click that, control click that. When you control click uh, one of these uh, tiles, it uh, turns red to indicate that it's selected. Control click, control click. If you want to deselect somebody, that's a shift control click. So that'll deselect that tile, or control click to select it again. So now these are the uh, six tiles that we've uh, selected. Uh, those are the ones that we're interested in. Uh, if we'd like, we can go straight to the uh, uh, download site, and just you know, by looking up by using these names right here that we see in the labels, uh, we can download those that we want. And if it was just a small number of uh, files, that's what we would do. But if we had like you know 100 of these that we wanted to download, uh, we would probably want to uh, make a record of which ones we want to download in a more organized way. So the way we'll do that is we'll double-click this query to open it, and that's just a simple query that you know uh, that uh, Manifold has written for us. And we run that query by clicking Run, and that generates a results table. This results table basically has some information extracted uh, from it for uh, uh, the uh, tiles that we've selected. The query selects, uh, actually grabs only those records that are selected. And what's cool about this, if we have a whole bunch of these, we can uh, control A to select all, then here we'll choose edit copy. And then uh, right here I can choose right click and paste. And what I've done is I've created a table. I'll turn this off. You can 
whatever the, is the active layer tab up here, we can close that by clicking that X right there. We've collected a, a layer, a, a table here called Select Results 2. And if I double click that to open it, we can see that that is a record of all of, the, of what we had for the results. Like I say, if this was 100 or so, that would be very convenient to have that. I can undock that table by shift clicking the tab. And once it's undocked, I can uh, resize it however I like it, and I can move it around to move around different parts of the uh, of the uh, Windows desktop. Uh, we're working here with a fairly small uh, viewport for the uh, video. Uh, you know, we're not working with you know full-size monitor or two or three monitors like a lot of people doing JAWS uh, like to use. So we'll just uh, we'll just leave that right there. And uh, what I want to do is I want to download these tiles. And so to, to do that, I'll go here to the uh, my uh, Windows browser. And this is a Microsoft Bang browser. And uh, I, I, what I did is I previously copied that uh, URL that I mentioned from the comments pane. There it is right there. And I launched it, and uh, we get a display like this. And what the display here does is that it gives us the name of each state and the year. And the most recent year for California here is 2016. So I'll click on that, and that'll take me into the, uh, the various files here. And what I want to do is I want to find the files for this quad. That's uh, 37122. Now when I select this... Uh, a table pane that uh, that 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 makes everything active that uh, and covers up the uh, you know the, the browser. So what I will do is I'm, I'll move this part of the of uh, the uh, of the session uh, out of the way. I'll move that up a little bit. So let's put this here. These are previous downloads that I was doing. So let's put that right there. Okay, this is, this is good. Let's leave that right about there. And uh, I want to find uh, uh, files for quad three seven one two two. Uh, I can right click and on one of those and choose copy and then here I can uh, control F and uh, control V to paste and that'll take me right to 37122 that's just a basic browser move uh, so let's click into that and so these are all the NAIP files for uh, quad 3722 and what we want to do is we want to find uh, the for 40 Northwest and 40 Southwest so let's just scroll down here to 40 Northwest and 40 Southwest and there it is so that's the first one I want. Well, I'll just click that to start downloading it. And uh, here, what I can do is I like I can control click that to select it. Just to as that's just a way of marking it to indicate that I've already started downloading that one. The next one I want to do is this one. It's a uh, 40 Southwest, so that would be uh, right here. I'll click on that, and then I'll uh, control key click here. We don't have to control click to, on this for anything. That's just a way, a convenient way if you're working down a very long list of files to. Uh, uh, to uh, mark which ones you've already selected, which ones you've already started downloading. And then I see here uh, it's uh, 39, uh, the 39 tiles at the northwest, southwest, southeast, south, uh, northeast. So I can just uh, go here to the 39 ones and click uh, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. And uh, uh, Bing will start uh, downloading all those from, from the uh, site. The site lets you download uh, up to six at a time although it is pretty slow and sometimes it takes a while to uh, catch up to the, to, the, to the clicks that you've made. Anyway, we've, we've got this process of downloading g going. Once all the files are downloaded, we will have indeed all the six of these uh, NAIP tiles that we wanted. And uh, they'll be in JP2 format, JPEG 2000, which is a very fast format. You can use that to link in. Uh, they'll link in instantly and display instantly. Or if you like, you can import them. They're slower to import because Manifold has to... Uh, uh, to absolutely to decompress all of them and uh, to decompress them to about 500 megabytes worth of image per tile. And then if you like, you can merge them all together. In fact, you can link them in uh, as JP2s and then uh, uh, merge them all together into a single image. A viewer will do all that too. It's just that viewer, the free viewer is read-only. So once you have that giant image, when you, uh, you know, combine all these together, you won't be able to save it to some different format. But you will be able to use a viewer as a uh, kind of as a reference here, as you can see, to uh, find whichever tiles you want to look it up using the free project, and that has a lot of value to it. Uh, so anyway, let's turn those labels off. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Tell your friends, and uh, check out the user manual. Check out Manifold, the Manifold website at manifold.net. And uh, uh, we'll see you around with uh, future exciting videos. Thanks for watching, and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. As always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, Manifold.net. See you soon.